I don't think I made it clear in my last video of what I was trying to say, so I'm gonna <clears throat> regarding distress. Matthew chapter 24, verse 29. Immediately after the distress of those days. The distress of those days. The distress of those days. Ended with Ferguson, Missouri. With what happened in Ferguson. The Darren Wilson. Riots. Shooting. Michael Brown. That was the end of the distress of those days. After that, the sun will be darkened, the moon will not give its light, the stars will fall from the sky, and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. That's next. That's what I'm saying. Where are we right now? We're in the time of distress of those days. And if you read right before that, we're in the time of... Matthew 24, verse 26. And that's all over YouTube right now. In other words, Matthew 24, verse 26. Matthew 24, verse 23. That's all over YouTube right now. Get your Bible out and you find out what I'm talking about. That time will come to an end. And when it does, you'll know because the sun will be darkened, the moon will not give its light, the star will, stars will fall from the sky, and the sixth seal of Revelation will be pulled. After that, there will be the rapture. But first, the mark of the beast comes out. In other words, we're about to leave the time of distress and enter into a time of great distress. And then after that, it'll be distress unequaled from the beginning until now and never to be equaled again. And those days will be cut short for the sake of the elect. In other words, the rapture is going to rapture up the elect. And then in heaven we'll see a scene where it says, These are them who were victorious over the beast and his image. They love not their life so much as to shrink from death. And the inhabitants of the earth, those that dwell on the earth, those are the people who will be left behind. And that means everyone. Except for the 144,000. When I say everyone, that includes the lukewarm, disobedient Christians, the foolish virgins, the cowardly, Though the sexually immoral will not inherit the kingdom of God. The foolish virgins, the goats, the weeds, the false teachers, those who gather unto themselves teachers who will teach what their itching ears want to hear, and the teachers, too, that teach what everybody's itching ears want to hear. Those who peddle the gospel for profit, these are the inhabitants of the earth and them that dwell on the earth. These are the people who would be left behind after the rapture, after the harvest of the earth. There's no second chance. Look at Matthew 25 with the foolish virgins. They said, Sir, open the door for us. He said, Part from me, for I never knew you. And the door was closed. Amen. Trying to get people ready. That's really what these are about. It's not about trying to scare you, but yeah, if you need to be scared. I'm not scared. I'm looking forward to it. Honestly, so much anticipation. I feel like I'm in the time of drama and rising action and anticipation. I know it's like right at the door. It's at the brink. Oh, and yeah, that was one of the words, is Obama's not going to give up his presidency. He's not going to just lay, walk away from the office. Kidding me? That's what the Lord actually said. Just saying. As a matter of fact, he said that the same day that, that um, I got that prophecy. The actual prophecy was 
yeah, man, Russia. I, it started with Iran. I said Iran, Russia, Turkey, North Korea, all have an alliance to destroy America, and Obama is part of it. And then a moment later, and I said Obama's not going to be willing to leave office. And then all of a sudden, spirit came upon me. I was like, like, like crying, like all of a sudden, like just got blasted with like this sorrow. And then all of a sudden, I was back to normal. And the, and the pastor I was telling, he was like standing there going, like he was all alarmed by me. He like walked away going, oh, I don't know who that guy is. That guy's crazy. He thought I was crazy. <laughs> so true. <laughs> but I know, I took that word and I said, I know that's God. Things that you know that you know are God. I tell you when I'm speculating or when I think something and I'm not sure. When it's like a suspicion in my mind. Or when a bunch of stuff is pointing. You know, when I see other people prophesying the same things. Regarding dates. When I know that the Lord told me that I had 20 years in 2002. And then I look. And then recently the Lord told me 70 years from, from 1948. May 14th, 1948, go 70 years. He said that's 2018. May 14th, 2018. From there, start your 1,260 days. But not from that exact day, but approximately that time. That's Y'all can take that and y'all scholars out there think you know the Greek and the Hebrew. Why don't you line that up with what, what I just said? 